Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. Sergey the Crusher Kovalev versus Bektamir the Bully Milikuzhev. Who do you guys think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So who do y'all think is going to win this fight? If you guys don't know, this fight is taking place on the 30th, January 30, 2021. Live over here in the United States of America on the zone. Fight's taking place over in Russia. So uh, keep in mind that uh, it, the time zone is going to be different. Uh, it will be broadcasted here in the States a little early. So keep that in mind. So anyway, that zero right there is not a typo if you guys are wondering. Back the bully currently has only six professional fights and now he's fighting the former champion in Sergey Kovalev. Sergey Kovalev, we all know who he is. Currently 37 years old, turning 38 this year, 2021. 34 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw, 29 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. Hasn't fought since losing to Canelo and this will be his second fight in Russia in the past uh, four years. Four years. Four or five years. Uh, he fought in Russia before when he fought Anthony Yard in front of a decent crowd. And now he's fighting Bektimir Malakuzyev, who is a 24-year-old fighter from Uzbekistan with a record of 6-0. Five wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. You've probably seen him before. Um, here on YouTube, he has a bunch of highlights here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, he's he only has six pro fights, but don't let that fool you. If you search him up and look at his wiki page and you can see that uh, he actually has a decent amount of accomplishments as an amateur. Uh, one, the most important one is winning the, or not winning, getting silver in the uh, 2016 Summer Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. He had a silver medal there and as you guys can see he's won multiple world, or he's gotten silver, bronze in uh, World Amateur Championships. In the Asian Championships, he's won multiple times as a youth as well. So he's done. He's had a very good amateur background, and it shows as a fighter. He's a, you know, he's a very good boxer actually. But this will be his first major test, and at six pro fights, is he really ready for it? I'm gonna go out of the limb here, and actually, I think he actually got this. I think back to Mir. When I think about it now, I mean Kovalev. Like, it showed against Anthony Yard. He was slowing down. Anthony Yard was able to get to him and land some big shots. Canelo made him look slow. Kovalev just was just... I don't know what Kovalev was doing in the Canelo fight. But he got knocked out. And I feel like that knocked out probably will affect his mentality, the way he fights. And knowing the way Bektamir fights, he's a pretty aggressive guy, a very smart, aggressive fighter comes forward to that's a very good job picking shots him going to the body and we all know Kovalev can't go he can't take shots to the body you know I, I see Bektimir actually stopping Kovalev in this fight but it won't be easy it won't be easy Kovalev obviously has experience he's been in there before um you know he's always been in tough fights but I think I think Bektimir got this man I think he definitely has a skill set to do it it's just that he still has to go out there and, and you know showcase it. He just needs the right fight to do it. And he, this is the right fight right now. I mean, it has to happen one day in a fighter's career. And I think it's back to Mir's time. I think this is his moment to shine. And I think come the 30th of January, he will shock a lot of people. Stopping Kovalev probably in the middle rounds. In my opinion. In my opinion. I could be wrong though. Maybe Bektimir is too green for this fight. Maybe he's not ready yet to go in there against Kovalev. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Again, fight's taking place over in Russia. It'll be shown live over here in the United States of America on the zone. So tune into the zone if you want to see this fight. It's a very good fight in my opinion. Very inter interesting matchup and something that I'm looking forward to. Can't wait. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.